right, here we are for the second matchup now. I'm excited. It's UMass, University of Massachusetts, versus Clarkson. We have the Golden Knights of Clarkson. Uh, here, uh, they're going to be the road team, and UMass uh, Minutemen are going to be the home team on this one. And uh, because of uh, the way the logos go, uh, they're playing apparently in Vancouver, which is pretty exciting to play a college hockey game in, in uh Canada on this one. And we got UMass right away. Oh, there's one of the big guys right there who got knocked down by the goalie. To, to find our last video, you just have, have to search UND versus AIC, and you don't have to capitalize it, you but go. you do have to do the spaces. Okay, so looking at uh, one of the big guys here for uh, UMass um, is uh, number nine, uh, John Lerner. John Leonard, who uh, is a Hobie Bo Baker uh, possible winner here. Uh, he's one of the guys up for it. 12 goals, 11 assists, uh, 0 0.68 points per game. Um, we also have uh, Philippe Lindbergh as a goalie. 8-5-2 uh, and two with a 1.91 goal against average and 9.27 uh, save percentage. Had two shutouts on the air. Ooh, there, oh, but there, he couldn't shut him out there. Dune with the score, or done, I believe it's done, 15 uh, for Clarkson Golden Knights. So uh, already Clarkson up 1 nothing here before I could even announce the Clarkson Golden Knights uh, players to watch, and that's Harold Eggle. Um, he had 14 goals and 18 assists for one goal a game, or one point a game average. Ooh, playing the, danger there. If, if number 27 would have been on the other team, which was the guy who just Whoa. had the puck. He, he would have scored over there, but now they score anyway. Yep, there's Trevingo. Uh, gets the goal on that one. Number 11 for UMass. So, boy, we got a quick bunch of goals here. Last time it took forever for anybody to score after the very first one. So, uh, yeah, a, a pretty quick sudden goals here. Uh, the goalie for Clarkson that just got scored on was Frank Marotti. 23-8-3. Uh, uh, so a pretty good uh, year for him. Uh, 1.78 goals against average and a 9.38 save percentage, which is pretty huge. Four shutouts for this guy. So we've already got a lot going on. There's uh, the, one of the big dogs for UMass uh, shooting the puck right over it. Uh, lots of shots going on now for both teams. A little bit more action than uh, last game, at least uh, both ways, because last game uh, UND had a lot more shots, but uh, it was uh, AIC who took it to them at times. This time it seems like a, every time they come down the ice, somebody shoots it, get going back the other way, shoot it. Uh, I've had a couple goals. Whoa! Ooh, there was a quick, close one there. This is a lot higher score. This is this. These goals are a lot quicker than 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 UND versus AIC. And that is true. So here we have number 11 and for uh, UMass. That would have been an amazing goal yep. because he's. He spun around. That's true. Uh, looks like his name is Bobby Kaiser, from what I'm seeing here. Although, uh, sometimes I did mess up on the numbers uh, as I was filling them in, so there's always a chance that that may have happened. But, uh, because I usually took the, uh, I took the best nine players, or nine skaters, I should say, that were forwards, and put them on a single line. How did you not score there? Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh. Clarkson really held them off there, didn't they? They should have scored there. Mm -hmm. He had a wide open net. Oh, there's offside. Ooh, after the whistle in a real hockey game, there'd be some fisticuffs going on there after something like that. So here we have a, a big shot. Uh, Wait, Clarkson. What's, what's fisticuffs? That means they get in a fight. You know, they'll be pushing around and sometimes hitting people. Ooh, offside for Clarkson there. Uh, it was, uh, looks like Luke Lohite uh, didn't stay onside. It's sometimes hard to keep yourself going. Right, Escaping uh, around, uh, shot behind the net for some reason. Uh, here comes UMass on a run, but uh, kind of got st stymied there for a little bit. There's number 11 again. I'm wondering if I may have put the wrong uh, number on this guy <laughs> because uh, I'm pretty sure, well, maybe he'll score and then we can figure it out for sure. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong stats, in fact, there. No wonder. So number 11 is uh, oh, the wrong sheet. Um, Mateo Goslin is number 11, the guy who seems to keep getting the puck for uh, Clarkson here. 
Out of play there, though. What is happening left in the, in the period? Yep, first period's almost done here. Um, UMass coming down. Oh, I thought that was going in for sure. And then if, and then if that. And then if the guy that that just had the puck one of one of them there, I think they would have had another good chance of scoring because they had another wide open net. You're probably right. Yep, Marotti with a big save there. That really uh, kept this game at a tie right there. Well, 13 for UMass. So they got really small print on that big thing I printed off there. Reed Lebster, looks like. All right, set. Here we got the first period. We got almost even in shots, 10 to 9. Um, Attack zone about the same, both three minutes. Uh, UMass got that one timer in. So that's been the big difference so far. Here we go, the second period. Yep. Uh, so Clarkson and UMass are both tied at one. So, yeah, it, it's still a, anyone's game here. Uh, Marathi's still stopping them, it looks like, uh, on. UMass aside, although Clarkson's getting a lot of shots, it seems like UMass is getting the best shots of them all. Uh, Chaffee there goes into the box for UMass, and now we got a, a first power play opportunity for either team here. Now Clarkson's bringing it down. There's that 13 again. He's been all over the ice this time. Matt, Mateo Goslin. I got the still the power play still got power play one out there. Oh, oh I thought maybe they're gonna oh oh just wide that could have been one right there. Oh my, lots of diving there by uh, Massachusetts goalie uh, Philippe Lindbergh. They, now they could have got another rebound goal. They could have. Now Philippe Lindbergh actually played less than Matt Murray this year, but looking at the stats, uh, it looked like. Uh, Philippe Lindbergh was the guy to go with here. And I was talking about UMass. Yes, gotcha. You might not have seen it. I may not have, that's true. Uh, they both were pretty similar in stats, though, but I, I went with Philippe Lindbergh mainly because uh, he had the best save percentage. So, And it looked like he uh, paid off there. Uh-oh, now we got a slashing on Clarkson, so UMass, assuming they can kill off the last six seconds here, is going to have a power play opportunity. Let's see what happens next. Yep. Uh, here we got number 18 coming down the ice. And then he blocks the shoddy. That's the Eggle guy. Uh-oh. Mm. Another penalty coming up on Clarkson again. Uh-oh. They are really falling behind here with Ma Connor McCarthy coming to the box. Kind, kind of like number two for, for, for the Minnesota State University Mavericks. That's true. Yep, that's Connor Mackey. It's pretty similar sounding, isn't it? Oh, stayed offside. Had a... Had a number somehow on a five on three opportunity, but uh, couldn't stay on side. Well, tried to fire it in. Here comes number 20 for UMass. Uh, that would be Oliver Chow. Here comes number 13 for UMass trying to come. Oh, got to Oh, big shot there. So here we got number four coming down. So much action, it's hard to even see the numbers. By the time I see the numbers, <laughs> it's already on to the next one. I can see where the sports announcers kind of do a lot of studying of uh, people's numbers from this because I'm having a tough time. And I could probably do Minnesota State's pretty easily and maybe Bemidji State, a little bit of uh, North Dakota and uh, Arizona State because they came to Mankato this year. But the other 12, I am learning on the fly. <laughs> oh, so. the... It, the 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 whistle blew right at, right as the the power play ended. Yep. Yeah, so there you go. Now we're back to five on five. That UMass just couldn't get it in there even on a five on three. Both goalies have uh, definitely improved their game since uh, the first period. Oh, another one timer doesn't go in though. And uh, Lindbergh just kind of sits on that one. Doesn't want to have any chance of giving up one. Ooh, another one. Lindbergh is coming up big here. So I don't think he could have went wrong either way with Massachusetts goalies. They probably actually were pretty similar in, in uh, abilities when I put them in. Here we got number 10 coming down, uh, Jack Sutter. But nothing going on for him. Whoa, to nobody in particular. And coming down here. Whoa, fired into the stand. Somebody got a souvenir. 
Now you'll notice in NHL 94 version, there is no net behind the uh, the glass there. Today, if you fired into there, a, a net would have kept the fans from getting decked by a hockey puck coming at 100 miles an hour. And it's possible for the glass to break in this game. Yep, yeah, and I didn't see any this time when I was watching the when I originally recorded these. So I don't think we're gonna see any black glass breaking. I don't think any glass broke in any of your games this time either, did they? Oh, there's Leonard trying to sneak one in. Well, I know, I know, I've, I've broken the glass before. Yeah, I've seen it, it before too. It looked, it looked pretty weird. It does, yes. Uh, I'm surprised it hasn't happened. Every once in a while, one of the fun things you get to see is a kid comes up to the glass and starts pounding on it. <laughs> you see that? Guy. Somebody comes up there and starts hitting it. Still a 1-1 game here with a minute 47 left. And coming down the ice, uh, trying to find a way. Oh, stayed offside, and uh, UMass then got offside themselves. A little different kind of game with the offsides on, isn't it? Got to be a little bit more careful about it. Well, there's a good block on the 15 for Carlton, which is uh, John Carter McLean, or McLean, it looks like. So he must have come out and did a nice job there. Although, it's hard to tell right offhand. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, they had a good chance there. Number 13, uh, Reed Lebster again. Had a good chance of uh, doing something there. But that's going to end the second period. Let's take a look at the stats here quick. What do you have to say is tied? Uh, well, pretty close. Yeah, Clarkson 20 shots, UMass 19. Uh, power play minutes a little bit in, Mass's, in UMass's favor. Uh, passing about the same. Attack zone a little bit more Clarkson that time. Here we go to the third. It looked like it was going to be a high-scoring game from that very first uh, couple goings on but this time it hasn't been oh offside again took a lot less time to score two goals in this game it took like you know maybe five minutes in and last time it took all the way till about a minute 50 left for the north dakota to score so you never know what can happen in these hockey games i think we got a chance at another overtime whoa <laughs> big dive there oh oh they had a breakaway you know that's something that drives me a little crazy watching this because what would you have done if you had a breakaway like that? I would keep going. Yeah, I think most people would, even if they had a line change. It, oh, try to sneak her in there, number four. But then I would probably get out of. But then I would probably not have the breakaway for very long because then, because then I would probably spin around and then and then and then go a little, a little to the side and then try to shoot. Okay. So. Ooh. I would I would get off the breakaway. All right. Very good, sir. Joe Leonard there tried to uh, do a little razzle dazzle pass, but or John Leonard, sorry, uh, didn't quite work. And actually, I had his goal, I had his uh, stats written down a little bit weird there. Uh, John Leonard's stats are actually 27 goals and 10 assists for 37 points. I was gonna say he's a Hobie Baker candidate. He's got to have a lot more than that. So I'm not sure where I got. I must have looked at one somewhere else in there that uh, gave me a little different kind of numbers there on my original sheet. Oh, <laughs> playing with fire there a little bit. Here he comes. Oh, you can see those shots are lightning fast from uh, Leonard. Definitely a scorer. Oh, 18. Uh, that's the big guy Eggle for uh, Clarkson. Uh, the, the computer had a good... Clarkson had a good chance of sto scoring because they had a little open net and, and the guy that had the puck could have shoot, could have shot. Yep. It's interesting also to watch how they try, they score a lot on the computer. How do they usually score? Did you notice? Mm, no. One-timers. Do a lot more one-timers, a lot more pass-pass one-timer kind of shots. Or they they score it really greasy. You know what I mean by greasy? It's uh, like a an old man's crusty undies, you know? <laughs> they, uh, they go in there and they just uh, keep bashing in there until something happens. Um... Uh, that's usually the two types of goals that they score here. You have the pretty breakaways and the, uh, but mainly the uh, cut across. There was another one timer that was a really good one for Clarkson there, but apparently not good enough because they got a penalty on it. So Jack Jacome goes to the box. Maybe it's Jack Jacome. Could be. Yeah, unfortunately, I put out a Twitter uh, call for anybody to tell me any of the hard to pronounce names. Nobody responded, so I. Uh, other than the Arizona State fans, uh, they'd be willing to tell me if it comes up. I think we can get those mostly. They didn't look like anything too hard there. 
Um, although I'll probably butcher them anyway. So, yeah, it's just kind of fun to watch all this hockey action when there's nothing else on TV to watch for sports. And certainly uh, right now, today, uh, we're doing this on Friday night. Um, we could have uh, been watching the NCAA tournament right now. And who knows, even the Mavericks may have been playing. We'll never know. But ooh, there's John Leonard again. The backhander didn't go quite as hard as some of the other shots. Well, here's a good chance for UMass to get on the board and get an extra goal and get ahead, but not quite there. They do have the the number one line. Oh, there, there. You see, I think he should have. Uh, that guy should have either kept going for it or one timed it, and he just kind of uh, didn't do either one. Now uh, Clarkson's back to full strength, and they couldn't catch him on the change. Number 10 looked like he was probably pretty tired out from trying to kill that penalty, but maybe not. I think a lot of human players don't really deal with that passing as much as the computer, that is for sure. Well, here we go. 12, the defenseman, um, which is... Um, let's see here. I'm not seeing it right offhand. Oh, there he is. Jordan Schneider had a chance to break away. He had uh, some assist on the U, but no goal, so I'm sure he was probably looking to pass. It looks like it's going to go to overtime, just just, yeah. just like the the UND versus yeah. Jerusalem AIC. That's true. Oh, UMass. <laughs> UMass had a had a chance there, had it down low. Oh, <laughs> that must snuck a, one by by accident. I wonder who they would get with that goal to Clarkson if that would happen. Ooh, seven. Almost down to the last second. Um, number seven, who is uh, Cal... Uh, I think it's Kaifuik. May have uh, tried to get her in there, but uh, couldn't quite pull the trigger. 30 shots to 26, so still close. Passing, uh, a lot more passes by UMass there, but Clarkson's own in the zone. They had like almost two minutes more. Here we go to overtime again. Lots of overtimes here. Uh, nobody wants to go home and be done, even if it's a computer version. I guarantee you, though, this one does not go as long as the North Dakota and AIC game. <laughs> yeah, that one would have wanted to the fourth overtime with, with uh, I think. Yeah, that's why I came up with, too. So was that in the... So I think that was... Ooh, it was oh, in the, oh, almost ended it so, there. So it was in the 40... It was in the 40-minute range. Yes. I uh, thought... It looked like uh, Jack Sutter had it wide open. He pulled the trigger, but just past the goal. I thought that was going to be it. Oh, Clarkson buzzing. Oh, nobody, no Shaq Diesel to slam down the rebound, but number two on a breakaway. And, of course, he yep. doesn't make it. Mark uh, Delgazio could have had uh, the winning goal and been the big hero for UMass right there. Oh, oh they stayed on side. I thought they going to be offside. Oh, it looked like... Uh, Mitchell Chaffee was going to come in there and uh, have a good chance to win it, but couldn't quite get it either. That was a good pass by uh, John Leonard. Well, UMass is certainly uh, doing a lot of work here trying to get that winning goal. Clarkson's having a little bit of a tough time getting... Oh, there we go, 17 on the breakaway. Oh, ooh. Ooh. oh that was almost a game winner there for uh, Zach Sakos. I believe that's how you'd say it. Mm, he number 17. Yes. Yeah, maybe somebody else got it. I don't know. I don't know. It looked like he had a good chance there. Whoa. Well, that was a plane with fire. Oh, on the, on the line change. 20 coming down. Oh. oh. My goodness. Uh, Oliver Chow just about ended that one. Well, UMass is now. You can see they're still passing, passing, passing. Oh, offside. Well, we're almost five minutes into OT here. Wait, earlier when you said there would have been a fight, what, yep. what, 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 ha what happened after the offside when you said there would have been a fight in real life? Um, if somebody hit the goalie light or you know shot the puck after the whistle blows, hockey players don't appreciate that much. Another offside because you know it could hurt somebody because they're not paying attention because the whistle blew. So a lot of times the, the other, the guys the. The bigger guys on their team will kind of go back at him and say, hey, buddy, you can't do that. Oh, that looked like it was almost offside, but they gave it to him. Oh, oh my goodness, that was almost a terrible one by Lindbergh there. That was not his best decision. Lind you Lindbergh you oftentimes do that kind of thing on this. Lindbergh's the goalie, right? Yes, that's correct. Yep. 
you oftentimes try to pass it every time, don't you? No matter the situation. Oh, 13. Oh, if you would have just another skate stride, uh, Reed Lebster would have maybe had the winning goal there. In, just need to stri- In the very fr- In the. In the. In. In. Uh, Off that again. What you got? So, the first time we. Well, it was actually the second time we did something like well, that. We did. We did. We we did a hockey game on here because mm-hmm. the first one was actually supposed to be from last season. Yep, that's right. And and the and the one the first one this season where where, where Minnesota State hit played played a played Alaska Fairbanks I think. Okay. Yep. The, 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 I, I I so somebody was right behind me and about to score, but the. But the way the go- the go- Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. yeah. How did it get through him? And the way I... I... I, I still... Seikos to win it. The way I, st- I still... Uh, didn't... Saved it. Was... Was... The goalie was backing up and then... And then hit the guy. So... 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 So then he... So then he got... So then he kind of tripped. Yeah, well... There, uh, he could have used that kind of... Uh, fortuitous situation it did not work out for umass because clarkson with 40 shots on goal ends up with getting two in and that ends the game so that was a pretty exciting second game wasn't it ted yeah yep, yeah there it very is very exciting so seikos and uh, dune are the two of the stars and of course the goalie for clarkson um he uh Marathi there had a big game as well which was very big for them all right, we'll see you on the next game, right, Ted? Yep. Bye. Bye. Check you later. Goodbye. A Bobbin Mabbit Badachin. I'm gonna listen to it.